from a small lotus field to a gigantic crane sanctuary. This is the Nanchang Five Star Siberian Crane Sanctuary, the closest place in the world where you can observe wild cranes. But where did this all begin? And how are these wild cranes enjoying themselves? I'm Guo Fengqing. Follow me and find out. Just one bank across Poyang Lake, the largest freshwater lake in China, this sanctuary is home to over 2,000 wild cranes, more than half of its entire population across the globe. And it all started from a discovery tour of Miss Zhou Haiyan, a bird-loving photographer herself. I was through discussions with world renowned wild crane experts, Joe knew that lotus roots have become an alternative food for wild cranes due to the scarcity of food in Poyang Lake where about 98% of its entire population spend their winter. In March 2017, Joe, together with many bird lovers, initiated an online crowdfunding campaign named Saving White Cranes. So I'm now almost like 50 meters away from the white cranes, but they are still really calm. And normally the white cranes that are a little bit of people when they approach them, but uh, and due to the protection and a lot of the care given by this sanctuary, and these cranes are not afraid of humans at all. Last year, the sanctuary expanded the planting area from 20 hectares to nearly 70 hectares. As Poyang Lake suffered the biggest flood in decades, these lotus roots have come in handy for an ever-increasing number of white cranes. Our to help bird-loving photographers take photos without affecting the normal life of white cranes, six photograph staffs have been built near the three lotus root fields, each with camouflage decorations as a disguise. The meticulous designs have made photographers nationwide keep coming. Besides providing a cozy stopover for white cranes, Joe wants to share with the world the fruitful results of ecological protection in Jiangxi province through what she called white crane diplomacy. As I wrap up the journey to this beautiful sanctuary, I'm still deeply touched by the love and care people here have shown towards these white cranes. And I believe with abundance of food and care, these white cranes will spend another safe and beautiful and comfortable winter here.